I first thought about this problem when I was studying engineering physics back in the dark ages. Uh, I call it ball in a bowl. So the question I had was, how fast can we revolve this ball around the bowl before it will fly out? To get the ball rolling, you have to like wiggle the bowl around in a circle, and the side of the bowl keeps pressing against the ball as it rolls. Even though it's not going any faster, it's always changing direction, and that's an acceleration, and therefore it exerts a force. There are really only three forces we need to consider when we're going to solve this problem. The centripetal force due to radial acceleration, the normal force on the bowl, and gravity. If the ball's not flying over the edge, then the force due to gravity is equal to the vertical component of the normal force. Newton's second law of motion states that force equals mass times acceleration. If you're going to do physics problems, you really ought to have this etched onto your brain. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second per second. The radial or centripetal acceleration is v squared over r. In this case, r is measured from the center of the bowl to the center of the ball. To figure out the vertical component of the normal force, we have to measure the angle of the edge of the bowl. For now, let's call it phi. And look, this v squared in the radial acceleration is like a speed, and that's what we're looking for, the speed of the ball. We start with this equation that says the force due to gravity is equal to the vertical component of the normal force. Let's draw this out so we can see what we're talking about. We use trigonometry to get the ratio of the horizontal and vertical forces. Since we already know the radial acceleration, we can express the normal force in terms of that. Now, we have an expression for the vertical component. I want to use a metronome to check our work, so we can express V in terms of omega. The mass drops out, and the R's cancel, and we solve for omega. There's two pi radians in a revolution in 60 seconds in a minute. So the idea is, every time the ball goes around the bowl, it will click on the metronome. I mean, when the ball's rolling at the top edge and just about to fly out. I hope you like this problem, and I'll see you next time.